Good afternoon. S sorry, good morning. Um, my topic is um, tinnitus past, present, future. Um, I'm sure you can recognize many faces in this slide. Um, what is one thing that is common to all of them except fame? Uh, the answer is tinnitus. So uh, what exactly is tinnitus? And uh, why am I researching tinnitus? Um, to answer this question, uh, let me take you all um, in, in, the, in, the, in the past. A um, couple of years back, uh, when I was working as a clinical audiologist in Singapore, uh, one incident happened which, uh, um, which, which, which totally changed my career path. Um, which, which changed my career path. Uh, let, let's see live what that instance was. Um, hello, Mr. Lehua, how are you doing? Um, how can I help you? Um, hi, I'm good. I have this constant annoying ringing in my ear all the time. I can't sleep, I can't focus, I can't concentrate. I think I'm going mad. Um, Mr. Hua, y your condition is called tinnitus and uh, there are many people who suffer from this condition. So, um, is there any cure for it? Um, I'm sorry, but there's no cure for this condition. Um, so, uh, it, was, it was this question which motivated me to do further research and do PhD in tinnitus. So, um, that was my past. Let's talk about the present situation. Um, my PhD, I'm, I'm using a combination of uh, uh, this thing called as um, brain stimulation and hearing aids for tinnitus. So um, uh, basically, um, brain stimulation, um, what brain stimulation mean is uh, there, there are some early evidence that, that says that brain stimulation result in transient tinnitus suppression. So it's, it's a technique where you apply electrical stimulation to modify the brain plasticity. Um, yeah, but 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 it's 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 not like electrocuting someone. It's totally non-invasive and it's safe and it's 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 also painless. So um, what what patient feel is uh, um, a, a tingling sensation for a few seconds, and uh, I conducted a pilot study last year to um, to optimize the 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 settings for brain stimulation for tinnitus by stimulating uh, this place called uh, um, the, the left temporal parietal area, which is somewhere, which, which is some, which is somewhere here, I, here, I think, I think here. And uh, because underneath it is your primary auditory cortex, your auditory association area, and different parts of limbic system. And uh, so basically um, they are involved in, uh, uh, they, are, they are involved in tinnitus perception. So, and about hearing aids, there are evidence that uh, hearing aids are effective for tinnitus, um, but, uh, uh, and, and they're very common. You, they're commonly used for tinnitus, but they take long time to show the impact. So basically, um, I did one more study where I tried to, um, um, uh, I used that study to optimize basically the settings of hearing aids for tinnitus. So now what I'm doing is I'm combining um, those two studies into a big trial. And, um, and my hypothesis is people who, um, um, People who, who receive few sessions of brain stimulation followed by hearing aid fitting will have will have quicker and longer lasting impact on tinnitus. So so that's that's what I'm doing. So let's talk about future. Maybe um, maybe my study will not offer any cure for tinnitus, but it will it will bring us a step closer towards tinnitus intervention. Thank you.